Hey guys, it's Johnny from JTK Gaming and today I want to bring you an update on what's happened over the last few days and uh, what I want to achieve moving forward. So there's been a few pretty exciting things that's happened over the last few days. Now, you guys are probably aware of this, but I'm going to go over them anyway. Our forum post blew up. Now, it uh, went to 7.3 thousand views I'm pretty sure if we just have a look here we can uh, quickly have a look and see where we are now if we go to there we are 7.3 thousand with nearly 200 comments so that's crazy guys uh, so secondly I want to thank everyone you know the the tens to hundreds of comments that i've got you know being positive and supporting this and you know just giving me the motivation i need to push forward and keep you know keep this going because the moment it dies the moment all this was for nothing so i want to say a massive thank you to all those people that have offered their support and yeah so that being said, I did an interview with ABBA and I also did an a interview with Van Zan, so they're very interesting if you want to go check them out and get a, get some different opinions on this whole situation. And I think the two most exciting things that's happened over the last few days is one, we actually got responses from Zoss on the forums, which was awesome, even though it was, you know, a, a bit of a generic, you know, kind of response. But we got a response from Zoss, which doesn't happen very often. If you can, you know, if you've been on the forums, you know that not many actual forum posts get a response from Zoss. So that was awesome, but I think the most exciting thing and one thing that a lot of people actually straight out haven't believed me about is if you watch this video, there is a GM. Now, what the hell? You know, we haven't seen a G I haven't seen a GM in two years and one just happens to, you know, come along a day after our forum post blows up. So... Call it a coincidence, call it whatever you may want to call it. At the end of the day, we got a GM in the game actively hunting down bots and, you know, showing the community that they're actually doing things. And I think this is the biggest thing. And, you know, the community's attitude will change if Zos continues to do this kind of stuff. People were blown away that there was a GM in the game. And it wasn't even that for me, you know, like, I, I actually, he actually communicated with me and that was, that, that's, okay, Han, we'll, we'll minimize this. So as you can see in this screenshot here, he was asking where he could find the video, um, which is, that, that's just awesome, you know, to have a GM asking about the video and, you know, basically showing interest and not showing that they're not just brushing it off like you know like it's just another forum post about people bitching about cheating and i think that brings us to the next very important point is this isn't just another forum post about people bitching about cheating you know i want something constructive to come out of this and i want something to you know, even if it's the smallest thing, we can say that we, we achieve something as a community. And, you know, that might give us the, the you know, the mental um, strength to continue to do this stuff in the future and not just lay on our backs. So that brings me to kind of my last thing I want to talk about and it's something that I've, I've thought about a lot and this is the biggest thing I want and if this basically out of this whole thing if this one thing could come out of it I would be I'd be happy I'd be stoked and I think for the community it would be uh, it would be an amazing thing an amazing step forward uh and a step the first step towards you know making this game 
are less uh, prone to cheating and botting and stuff like that. And that is a community-based GM system. So what I mean by this is other games have done this in different forms and different um, kind of ways. Basically, Zos uh, gets some people in the community and they give them a little bit more power than the average person. So say say they were to make me a community GM. Basically, if I reported someone, then my report would actually go straight to the top of the queue and would actually get looked at straight away kind of thing. Um, also, you know, I'd get a, a badge of some description showing me that I am, you know, a community GM. Basically, you know, letting people know that there's people out there watching and seeing what's going on and also acting on things that aren't, you know, necessarily right in the game. And I don't think this from Zoss's kind of point of view would be very hard to set up at all. You know, they could offer ESO, uh, ESO Plus memberships to those, you know, those people, community GMs as payment. That's not going to cost them a cent in any way. And also, obviously, they'd probably have to get the people to sign a, a um, NDA or agreement of some description stating that if they abuse, abuse their power, abuse that um, ability to report people, then they, they themselves will be banned from the game and... I think that's something that, you know, is quite possible and I would love to talk to Zoss more about it. So Zoss, if you end up watching this video, you know, I'm extending the hand and if you want to reach out and um, have a chat about this and maybe see if we could work to some kind of agreement and, you know, honestly just see if we could make this work and make this happen. And I'm willing, I'm willing to put the time and the effort in to make this work. So uh, there it is, us. It's in balls in your court now, and I would love to hear from you guys. So once again, guys, I want to thank everyone that has been behind this and has supported this. It's amazing, and as I said, this wouldn't be possible without the community and without you guys. So. Once again, guys, it's Johnny from JTK Gaming, and I hope you guys have a lovely day.